Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Saint Thicodus. So, the Manoxidal man himself finds himself here again on himself and a rainy day himself. I've said himself too many times. We've killed 338 zombies. My goodness, look at that. We also have what looks like a gnome outside. It's sorry, it's been a couple, a couple, a couple days since I last played. What do we have on the old uh, on the old by spice rack here? We got some nine millimeter rounds. Okay, okay, and we do have a nine millimeter pistol. Now, I did get a lot of comments coming back. A couple things to cover here. The first is that a lot of people agreed that a hundred kills per category of clothing is completely fine. Anything more than that would be too much to manage. So, you know, I can now wear uh, shoes, but I don't have to wear. I don't have to kill hundred zombies every time I want to wear a new pair of shoes. Uh, I did see someone have an interesting suggestion, which was like, rather than do it like as a like footwear as the category, I could unlock item names. So like, I got to kill another hundred zombies if I want to wear boots rather than just shoes. And that's definitely something worth looking into. So let me know what you think about that. So should our categories be general, like all pants are now unlocked, or can I just wear any other padded pants I find? And if I want to wear jeans, I got to unlock jeans new comments for you. It's gonna be a while before we have to worry about replacing this stuff. So, well, unless I mess up. So, so just something to be aware of. Now, something I am also very, very aware of is that we need to sort out, uh, we need to prep ourselves for the helicopter because it is going to be coming to probably today or tomorrow. I'm not sure just yet. Uh, I'm going to be creeping around like a worm man for the entire time regardless, just simply because I think there's a pretty real chance that it might actually arrive like any second now. Uh, and in which case we're gonna want we're gonna want to be able to to to, to dodge it. Um, if the pilot sees you, he'll hover it over your house, and it will be a very bad time for you. If the pilot does not see you, he'll kind of just fly around the area, scattering the zombies um, all over. But if he flies over your house, well, you guessed it. He you know he brings them right to you. He brings all the boys to your yard. Damn right. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna spend the day downstairs so I can cook and stuff prep some meals do a little meal prep millennial lifestyle and all that and uh, in order in order to make that happen I think we go up here and steal some curtains honestly sitting in that little room might actually be an even better play uh, oh my god is that it I think I hear it I oh my god the helicopter's here the helicopter is here okay well this area is no longer safe um well, let's sit on the ground for now. Uh, we'll pop a smoky, and then uh, I guess we'll see what's going on once we finish this farming book. This dude is still here. It is, he is adamant, man. It has been three and a half hours. Okay, he's left. But he might come back. It's not over yet, necessarily. Uh, the helicopter can come back several times over an in-game day. All right, we're gonna we're gonna head back down. So what that event is, it's it's basically a way to stop you being too secure. It's it's it especially catches um, newer players off guard. Uh, the one only way you can kind of really find it is if you manage to. Oh my god, I have a radio with the emergency broadcast system right there. How did I not see this? I'm very smart, and it was on. <laughs> it was on the whole time. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Let me let me take this battery. All right. I have taken the battery. Let me go here. I will place this battery in there. Uh, right click to remove the battery. There we go. One of yours has got juice, I know it. There we go, we can put that in there. Now I can turn on the automated broadcast system, turn it down a little bit. And uh, what this would say on the day the helicopter's expected, it would say air activity detected, but it didn't because I am a stupid. All right, well, I mean, that is that is basically the end of the helicopter event. A little bit underwhelming, but we managed to get through. Okay, well, now we've got the emergency broadcast system. Should we need it? I don't think there's any other, like, lore stuff that happens with it. I might be wrong. Someone will let me know down in the comments. Uh, but what we should do now is uh, make some chow, hit the hay, and then uh, it looks like the rain's cleared up. We can go out and do some more looting tomorrow. I did also ask people what they think about us using fire as part of our sort of general toolkit to get zombie kills, and a lot of people seem to be completely fine with it. So I'm going to consider that good enough, and we will probably, uh, not certainly, but we will probably be using fire uh, going forward to, to try and make a bit more of a dent in the kill count here. Okay, what am I eating for dinner? You know, we still got some weight to gain, so let's smack some, some chippies here. 
I think I'm still gonna be underweight for a while, right? I'm still underweight. I'm no longer very underweight though, which is pretty dope. Oh my god, the weight immediate one bag of chips and your weight skyrockets. Is that, was that a three kilogram bag of chips, bro? How did you manage to pack on that many calories? What were they putting in these things in the 90s? Someone did mention that we can actually use bleach bottles as water bottles. Um, apparently, it's completely safe if you pour the bleach out. That sounds, sounds like the, the words of a saboteur, so I'm going to not do that, even if it is completely viable. I also am not going to sleep by the window tonight. I, I, don't, I don't trust. Let's sleep in here instead. Lights on, of course. I want to know what I'm doing. Okie dokie, little three hour nap and we are back in business. Let's go ahead and head downstairs and then begin the considerations. Yes, yes, we must decide what we are doing today. All right, I reckon we make our first stop at the fire station today. It's it's also worth keeping in mind that we are going to have a lot. And I really, I do mean a lot of zombies are back around the area now. The helicopter flew around sort of here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which has meant that this whole area is probably swarming again with zombos. So why don't we do a little bit of reconnaissance before anything else? It is still pretty dark. Uh, what have I got on me? Not much. You know what? You know what? Let's uh, let's wait until the daytime at least. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit over here, pop smoke, and uh, read a book about how to keep small animals in boxes, and then we'll go and see what the day holds for us. Oh, nice! Our weight has reached 69. Fantastic! And we are about to cross over to 70, and then we should, and I I mean should here hypothetically, right? We should lose the underweight debuff, which means that we'll be hitting at full strength. Uh, there's a pretty pretty significant debuff to damage and uh, and <laughs> swing speed when you're underweight. So hopefully that will improve it. Uh, let's also take with us just one of these water bottles. I don't really mind which one. Cool. Take the corner one. That makes sense. And we're going to go off into the night and see what trouble we can get into. And we got a zombie over here. But I wouldn't really say that we've got hordes. What are you about, sir? You're just a guy. He's just a guy. 339. A sledgehammer! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> In a cardboard box? Bro, this is this is this is actually ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I guess we're going to the gun store today? Bro, what? Uh, okay, well, forget, forget trying to unlock this door. Check this thing out. Um, equip in both hands. It's pretty damaged. Okay, hold on. That is the only thing. This has got, like, two swings left on it. Um, hmm. Okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe we put that away after all. I don't want to waste the swings. But basically, the sledgeham sledgehammer allows you to re sort of destroy pieces of, uh, the world, really. You can, like, destroy staircases. You can destroy everything you can destroy walls that's the big one which means we can get inside that gun store now all of the gun stores actually i do not see the zombie is it this one nope not the kitchen oh bye bye okay what have we got for snacks a meat cleaver i will take we do have the more pole arms mod installed which means we can actually make like uh hellbirds which is pretty cool uh, but until then, oh, a fresh orange, dude. Let's freaking go and ice cream. That's pretty big. I'm playing with 50% less food loot as well. And it's still got this much going on. It's ridiculous. Like, it's actually ridiculous how much you can get just by walking around. That's 50% less. And we're still getting all of this. Uh, this will reduce our boredom. This magazine, which is a little bit high at the moment because we spent all day yesterday reading. So just burn through that magazine. A hand torch. Very, you know what? Take it all. Take it all. Uh, all the metal that we can find is useful, even if it's only because we can smelt it down into other metal once we find the smithing research, right? So let's just dump everything that's not tied down into here. Do you know what? Smash the douche box too. The douche box? The juice box. I threw it, I threw it on the floor! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> did I ever check all these cars? I don't think I did. Get inside this one. Uh, no key, unfortunately. It does have a sewing kit, though, but I have a needle already, don't I? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, I don't need it. All right, but we can now go ahead and scratch off this house. Perfect. And you know what? Let's put a big old... Put some text on here. Put it in red. 
Home sweet home, baby. All right, our next piece of the puzzle, I think, is indeed to go back up this way. Find out what we can find out. That, where did we start? I don't remember. Oh, man. Was it all the way up here? It was all the way up here. That was the gun store we started at. And there is a petrol station there. But, man, it's going to be crazy up north now. Oh, okay. Okay, well, let's try. Torime. I think we did enough damage to the local population that, despite the helicopter, it hasn't actually pulled that much towards us. That is, I mean, that is entirely because of how much work we did out here in the fields. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, never mind. I found the zombies. No, we still got a few. Aha, there's the fire station. That's a good place to find boots. That is a good place to find boots. We got a hardware store. That's something we're going to want to check out. Where was that gun store? Aha. All Ron, A. A. Ron Farm and Hunting Supplies. That's the spot. This might be the time we try the Molotov strategy. We just got to get them far enough away from the shops that they don't burn it all down. Problem is with like a good burn, we could get hundreds of zombies in one big swoop, right? Ah, shit. I got to remember not to do that. I got to remember not to do that. Did we lose? No, we didn't get a scratch anywhere. Okay. Okay, cool. We managed to clear the stack and, ah, uh, there's a new one. Well, back to killing. Oh no, here I go committing copyright infringement again. Bonk. Come on, two swings. Two swings. Uh, I'm, out of, I'm out of juice. I'm out of juice. Yeah, we are exerted. All right, well, you know what will fix a bit of asthma? Is a cigarette. My doctor told me. Oh yeah, I think we've definitely lost the debuff for uh, being underweight because we are absolutely massacring at this point. Are we no longer underweight? No, we still are. Okay. Oh, one of their alarms just went off. Ah, shit. What are you doing, Largely? Get out of there. Uh, fences are no longer a safe haven for the gamer. That's for sure. Come at me, jerks. Hell yeah. Very nice. Okay, map of Rosewood. We don't need it. And a high-end camera. I think that's worth taking just to disassemble, right? Let's also tear up these clothes. Get some leather strips going. Alright, let's go ahead and get the sledgehammer. Get ourselves inside there. As you can see, these bodies are beginning to decay now, which is a... Pretty good sign, which means that we, we, they are going to slowly start disappearing. Did I just throw this shit on the floor? No, I threw it in the zombie. Okay. I left the sledgehammer behind, didn't I? Yep. Yep, I, le I left it on the floor over there, didn't I? Yep. Uh, okay, cool. Well, let's go back and get it. Well, hold on. We did just clear that area out, and now we're going to reinfect it. But maybe we should do a little bit of other looting while we're here, right? I mean, there are other things I want, like restaurant. We can get some food and get some liquor from making more Molotovs would be pretty sick. Uh, we can get some more fuel. Uh, we burned half a tank somehow by doing all this. Yeah, let's let's do a little bit of looting before we go. And all of this is now rotten. Okay. Well, we can take the canned food. All right, I'm already getting pretty tired. It's kind of stupid to stay here. And uh, I'm completely full up. I haven't offloaded anything into the car. So, I mean, we just got a bunch. We got all the canned food we left behind last time, basically. Oh! Whoopsie, I was trying to do a handbrake swerve, but uh, I just managed to crash into a tree. Very nice, well played. Uh, well, we are going to come back tomorrow with a sledgehammer and get a whole bunch of bullets and then go on a rampage. We'll probably go back into the city proper to try and uh, get hold of the other ammunition stores as well. Maybe a trailer or a truck. Oh man, if we can get come back with a truck, that'd be great. I'd leave this behind in a heartbeat. All right, let's unpack and then go to bed. And I will see you all in the morning. All right, nice 3 a.m. wake up time again. I think our sleep schedule might be a little scuffed, uh, but we're going to make the best of it. Uh, I think we start today off with a quick snack. Um, I'm really gonna try and avoid cooking if I don't need to for a bit. I know that is sort of a pivot from what we were doing last time, but I think a breakfast of some fresh fruit and veggies will be a good idea. We need some nutrients. 
Uh, we are still technically underweight. I think once we hit 71, we should go over that line. If we don't, then maybe they've changed it, or maybe I never understood how it worked in the first place. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to, while we wait for these to defrost, I think I'm going to smash some chippies, and then we're going to go get our sledgehammer. I know it's dark, but we need to get a head start on the day here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, bad. But that condition is is really bad. Like, I think we can probably swing this, I don't I, I'm guessing, maybe like 10 times before it breaks, so... Uh, it's not going to be a weapon, and it is definitely going to be used incredibly selectively. All right, it's still pretty quiet over here. Very nice. Let's just pull in surreptitiously, and I think get ready to make our escape. Okay, before I go in and start looting, is anybody coming over? Looks like we've managed to get away with it. Despite those meddling kids. Also, uh, Project Zomboid developers, I'd like to point out that eating frozen grapes should not cause boredom and unhappiness. Have you ever eaten frozen grapes? That sniz is amazing. But now we have the destroy option. I can go ahead and left click here. It makes a hell of a lot of noise. But we can actually destroy things. Look at that. Okay, let's close the door. And uh, there's... there has got to be a light switch in here somewhere, right? Oh, man. Are you kidding me? There's someone in here. There's really no light switch in this whole shop. We've got a Zambi somewhere. Hold on, before I check all the shelves, I gotta secure this. It was the owner. Oh, that's already a lot. Oh, that's already a whole lot. Okay, we're going to loot full here. I think we're gonna just clean this place out completely. A Desert Eagle magazine. Now we're talking. Okay, we got the MS MS700, MSR700 rifle over here, which is pretty cool. All right, we found some more guns. Additionally, we've got the another rifle over here. This one here, which allows us to shoot 223. And this one over here is a little revolver. And this little snub nose, I think it's the quietest gun in the game. Uh, if that's something you're worried about being heard then that is a way to avoid it. it. It still is, you know, it's a gun, and once you've got decent aiming, I think it's worth your time. I think ours are still a little bit low. I think until we... Someone in the comments was suggesting that until we get to aiming, like, level 4, we shouldn't really worry about trying to to fit in um, all the other shots and things. Like, it's, it's better it's better to just use the shotguns until we can until we can use everything else. Oh, nice. We got another one here. What is the MS-788 suit? Look at all those attachments, man. We got an eight time scope on this bad boy. Very nice. Three round magazine. This fires. I can't, I can't tell. Uh, what does the magazine take? Magazine takes 308 rounds. 308 rounds. Okay, cool. Well, we got lots of options now. Hey, there's a double barrel. I think I'll leave that behind. Uh, someone did say we can use weapons to repair other weapons. So maybe we do just take everything after all. Maybe it's the M36 revolver that's the quietest? I know it's one of the revolvers. And there's a brand new shotgun. Hey, maybe we just take all of it. Okay, we've officially looted almost everything. There's like, like a couple boxes of ammo and a couple of guns I wasn't able to fit. But we've got just about every single other thing we can carry. I'm going to take this all home, and I think we need to move our weapon stockpile, and then tomorrow, tomorrow, maybe even just today, after we've done a little bit of organizing, the carnage begins anew. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Uh, we're going to continue to clear out, we're going to, sorry, let me rephrase, we're going to clear out the top of the field again, and then we're actually going to push our way further into Louisville, and uh, see if we can reclaim the first original gun store as well. And if we can find a bigger car on the way, or maybe even a trailer, that would be amazing. All right, yeah, this is no longer going to suffice. I think we need to take over the kitchen. This, this shall now become the armory. Okay, after much maneuvering and much trouble, we have managed to put everything away in a slightly more organized place. It's still not great, it's still not perfect. We've still got some leather jackets. You know, we're just gonna pile them up on the bench over there for now, but there we go. It is helpful, I think, for YouTube videos to show what you've got, but it does take a while to do it. And I did manage to break a couple boxes while trying to move them over here, but oh well, there we go. We've got an ammo box right now. I've got all my shotgun shells piled on top. We ended up with, I think, 14? 
uh, shell boxes, which is insane. We've also got a ton of new guns. We definitely don't need any more. A lot of them have some pretty neat attachments on them too. Um, and I found out that this rifle thing is something we actually wear. And we can wear this on the front, back, front, back, whatever, and we can carry more guns. So that's a really cool upgrade. That's one of the mods I've added. I'm not sure which one specifically, but it is one of them. And we are almost out of water, I noticed. Is there anything I've left behind? It doesn't look like it. Uh, the only thing I can think of, yeah, is the sledgehammer, which I actually want to take out and put somewhere else. Because if it's in the boot and the boot gets damaged, the trunk, if the trunk gets damaged, it will delete it, right? Because like if the capacity drops below what the trunk can actually store, uh, it'll kick it out. And I, I think it drops it on the floor, but I, I've also had a problem before where it'll just like delete the stuff that it can no longer store. And with that item, with the sledgehammer taking up six slots, I think there's a reasonable chance it might actually just get deleted. So I'm going to put that in the back seat just to make sure that if I bump a tree or something, we don't lose quite possibly the single most valuable item we found so far. All right, anyway, I am an absolutely miserable little sod right now. This poor man has been through the absolute ringer. I'm going to crack a can of corned beef and uh, smash that for Din Din, catch some Zs, and then tomorrow we're going to go shoot some Zs. All righty, new day, new me. We've still got electricity inexplicably, so I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves some food. It's a little bit further into the day than I would have liked. I um, overslept somewhat in that I started the day... Uh, looked around and then got distracted and then I left the game running in the background. So now we have um, <laughs> We've got a little bit of extra a little bit of extra time uh, Wasted today, but that's fine. I'm just going to make some uh, Random stuff here. I guess looks like quite possibly the single most miserable thing I've ever seen uh, What about some? uncooked marshmallows. Oh Yeah, this is the this is the dream meal of like a toddler and some beef jerky this is, this doesn't count. This is, I'm having this as a, as a yummy snack because I enjoy it. Okay, let's just uh, power down on that. Nice scalding hot melted boiling chocolate. Ooh. All right, next up, time to arm up. We are going on a murdering spree today, as promised. Uh, we are currently sitting at 371 zombie kills. So let's see what we can do to increase that number a little bit. Now, some of these shotguns have... Yeah, yeah, this one's got a sling and a shotgun choke. So I'll be putting that in my hands. Thank you very much. There we go. And we're going to go get a whole bunch of shotgun shells. Give me 14 kilograms worth of shotgun ammunition. And let's go put a serious dent in our aiming skill. Oh, and yes, this is a good point. I was thinking about this overnight, and I don't think we should take this car. As good as this car is, uh, and as much as it does have a sledgehammer in the back seat, I need to remember to take. Uh, we're not going to take this car because I want to be able to swap out for a better one if we find it. So I think we take the old junker over here, because if we lose it, we lose it, right? Not the end of the world. You know what? Let's shave while we drive. Uh, how about a full beard? But not a scruffy one. I'm just going to use scissors around my throat while speeding down a farm road. That seems safe, right? I don't see anything wrong with that. Ah, much better. Ah, oh, God damn it! I wasn't paying attention. You know what? Let's go and investigate in here for a second before we get too excited elsewhere. I haven't really taken a look at what's around. These oh, these houses do have garages. Okay, nice. And they've got post boxes as well, which means that there is a very good chance we can get some... Oh man, there's a very good chance we can get a generator here. If we get that, that's, that's, that's changing the plan for the day, that's for sure. Ugh. That seemed overkill. That felt that felt like overkill. Even to me, that felt like overkill. Mm, file, nail gun, magazine, a plank, some rope. I like the file. I got a copper. Anything of value in here? A key. That's pretty dope. A holster, hey? Okay, I think I'll take that. That might be something we want at some point. Oh, and that is a skill magazine. Yes, it is. Now we're talking. Oh, hello. Another propane torch, we definitely take. I'm looking for the welding mask right now, that's the big one. Metal cutters. I don't think I have metal cutters, so let's take that. Uh, nah, hammer, chisel, I don't think we have a chisel. Smithing magazine volume 10. Ooh, we can make hammer nail saw, that's pretty handy. That's definitely, a, that's a read me, for sure. And that's a dead man. Uh oh! 
Jesus, man. Doors and quarters. That's where they get you, kid. Oh, DIY crafting for idiots. We're going to read that. Industrial propane tank. Now we are talking. A fireman! Okay, hold on, hold on. We want this. We want this guy's equipment. He's going to have boots. And more importantly, his jacket. Oh, man. His jacket is going to keep us safe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that protection. Okay, yeah. Fireman's outfit. That's our next few upgrades right there. Nine more zombies and we can get a backpack, though. Seven. Okay, I do want the industrial propane tank, though. That's going to be a game changer for us. All right, I'm going to go by what the comment suggested and say that we have now unlocked the ability to wear any kind of shoes, which means we can finally, finally upgrade our boots, all right? If we're not happy with that, don't worry about it. We can always change it. I'm going to leave the sneakers behind. Um, well, actually, well, I guess I'll take them with me in case we need to, to sort that out. Fireman's jacket and pants, those are going to require a bit more work, I think. The jacket's definitely a separate category. No two ways about that. The pants technically occupy the same as the 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 padded ones but i'll i think i'll let you guys decide whether or not we've paid for that yet uh you let me know another vest don't mind if i do and no you know what it feels wrong it feels wrong to wear the boots without earning them I think, I think genuinely, I think that we should do 100 kills per, per like, type of clothing. So, like, I can wear any sneakers now. I could wear any padded pants, any padded shirt, but I can't wear, like, any shoes. That feels like, that feels too powerful. You know what I mean? Feels like, because then we could, we could get, like, a thousand zombies and the series is done. Um, I think that also, it gives a bit of, like, replacement, right? Like, if we need, if something gets damaged, we'll have to replace it. We gotta go fight. I think I like that more. I think we've unlocked the ability to wear any sneakers at this point, but not any footwear. If I want to wear the boots, that's another hundred. Oh, perfect. There we go. We just rang the damn dinner bell. Time for a siege. I think I've cleared this place out already, pretty much. I mean, we just did so much murdering with the, uh, in the field over there. I just don't know how much is left to do. Look, look at that. It rang the damn dinner bell in a populated area and two zombies pitched up. Pretty good problem to have. Hello. More ciggies. Yay. Trapping magazine. Very cool. Carpentry. Let's go. That was the big one. That was the big one. That's what we've been waiting for. Protect yourself issue one. Wooden shield, metal scrap shield, car door shield. Hell yeah. Okay, we're starting to get we're starting to get some decent recipes. We still don't have the smithing recipe though. Although I did notice that the crafting enhanced tables is now working, which means we can build a forge and an armory table. Uh, we can start working towards this. Stone, log, metal, scrap, unusable metal. You betcha. Electrician volume one and first aid. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, okay. Uh, we definitely want to get started on both of those. Oh my god, we got a taxi key. Oh my god, oh my god. Please tell me this taxi works. No gas. But it works. What kind of condition are we in here? Engine's also a bit scuffed. Damn it. Okay, so it's not really much better than the other one. How much uh, How much boot space are we talking about? Empty gas can. You're kidding me. 37 in the trunk? Okay, I'll take this any day. We gotta work on our mechanic skill, man. Yeah, look how beat up this poor little car is. Definitely time to swap it out for a different one. But we'll walk back here tomorrow and get that sorted out. Let's take all this home, get ourselves settled for the evening, because we're starting to get tired, which means it's stupid to stay out. Uh, get all this stuff put away, and uh, we'll be back in the morning. I guess we're actually going to go north. I, I know the taxi's there now. I don't have to get it at the moment. Uh, we just got to go back with some uh, with some fuel. I suppose you know what we could do is um, we'll we'll come back up tomorrow morning with the fuel can, refuel it, bring it home, and then go with this one. Did the, the car just died? Okay, maybe we don't take this car. Oh my god, the car just died. I can I, I can still break. Okay, maybe we don't take this guy anywhere. I didn't even notice that last zombie was literally number four hundred. Look at that. I I completely missed it somehow. 
Hell yeah, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. That is a good feeling, let me tell you. I, um, I need to just go ahead and police some of this stuff, just put away some of the things we don't need right now, uh, and then I will be right back in the morning with a little bit more fun. There we go, all tidied up. I think let's open up today, or rather uh, this afternoon, with a millennial breakfast. Classic millennial, sleeping in till 3 o'clock. Am I right, boomers? That's right, <laughs> it's so true. Uh, we have quite a bit to do, uh, I would say today, but I guess this evening. Um, not only are we eating avocados, but we are kicking some butate, let me tell you. I need to drop some weight, I'm way too heavy, and we need to spend some points here. now. I, I have slept on it, uh, figuratively and literally, it is another day of recording here, and I think that the 100 kills we've got here are going to purchase us another piece of clothing, but that we are going to purchase pieces of clothing. Yes, thank you man in the distance for screaming. Uh, we are, so for example, I've unlocked sneakers, padded pants, and a padded jacket, right? Which means that I can now wear any sneakers, any padded pants, any jacket. If I want to wear the booties, or the fireman's jacket, or the fireman's pants, I can wear any booties, or fireman's pants, or fireman's jacket, if I have paid to unlock it. Making sense so far? Fantastic. I'm going to drop the padded jacket, because we don't need the, the, the insulation just right now. And we've got so many of these, I am going to wear the bulletproof police vest, just like that, because it gives a 55% reduction to scratch damage and 30% to bite. This thing only gives 10%, I believe, 10 and 20 um, on the covered areas. And I'd much rather have the higher guarantee. Look at that, nice and green, all the way down. So we're gonna go do a little bit more carnaging. I also looked it up, and unfortunately, in baseline Project Zomboid, Molotov cocktails do not, and I repeat, do not count towards your kills. So burning a bunch of zombies down will weaken them, which actually makes the shotgun more effective, but it will not kill them. Uh, so that's just something to be aware of. Okay, I'm going to drop some of this stuff on the floor here, and I'll keep the screwdriver just in case. They can be really handy in a pinch for like uh, changing weapon attachments and stuff. Uh, speaking of which, I've got the basic shotgun here. Uh, the one that is completely unmodded. Let's put that back real quick. Uh, I'd like to grab this one. It's got the sling and the sto uh, stock on it. Is that what it is? A sling and a choke. It's got a sling and a choke. Okay. Now, the choke is a bit of a double-edged sword, right? The choke will increase the damage we deal per shot, but it also uh, tightens up the spread. And because I'm trying to train aiming here, I actually want to take that choke off. So we're just going to put that on the table right over there. And then that's why I wanted to keep the screwdriver. Okay, actually, that was what it was for. I remember now. So I think that that's pretty much it. I think we're ready as we're going to be. I think we leave it there. Oh, one more thing I do want to do is, and I saw this uh, in the comment section of the previous episode. Thank you to the commenter who pointed this out. Uh, this bad boy right over here has a little bit of a problem going on at the moment. We take a look under the old hood of Rooney. You're gonna see something a little bit concerning. That's right, that gas tank is at 26%, and we are now at five liters of fuel remaining. Yeah, that's a, a little bit less than I put in there last time, and that's because it's leaking. Uh, under a certain durability, gas will kind of just evaporate out of these tanks. So we're gonna pull it out of there and put it into here. This one actually does have pretty decent, um, uh, what do you call it? Pretty decent gas tank health, I checked. And so we're going to put it in there, and it should be all fine. Okie dokie, though. Let's take this back, put this down, and get to shooting. I want to clear the road today. I know we've been fighting in this field above us a lot, but uh, after the helicopter, it's all been stirred up again. And I'd like to put a real dent in that particular problem today. Also, I'd like to point out, once we hit 75 kgs, we, we lost the uh, underweight trait. It is really very much worth your time take underweight very underweight because it gives you a negative 10 in your points and then strong gives you plus 10 and then it means you basically don't have to worry about exercise so much because this doesn't decay um except over like a very long period and as long as you keep fighting keep moving you will train strength and that means that you will do an ungodly amount of damage all right let's get into some trouble let's see what uh let's see what full strength no underweight debuff damage looks like it looks about the same to be honest now a little bit better Oh, so that, that crowbar's about to go, man. I just noticed that. Well, you know what? Let's finish it off then. This thing has seen us through a couple hundred kills on its own. That's for sure. I need to find me another one. We have been training the long blunt skill. 
Snoop Dogg would be proud, but it is something that uh, we, we can diversify our skill set a bit. It's Obviously, it's good to get like super training with a lot of stuff, but it gets really difficult after a certain threshold. Oh, there it goes. All right, nice. I am going to keep it on me uh, just for the moment because we can smelt that back down into uh, useful, useful iron ingots in a second anyway. A two by four. You know what? Let's do it. Put it on my back. Looks like it's a pair of scissors duct taped to a two by four. Now that is high art. All right, let's do a bit of dancing. I'm fighting in the cornfields. Now listen, if I'd had that Molotov cocktail, all right, I would have done the biggest burn you've ever seen. It would have looked like the goddamn capital of Switzerland <laughs> up in here, okay? <laughs> you guys like, you, you like a little bit of Central European geography humor? You know what? This looks like a great opportunity to try out our new toy. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, it's quick. Oh, it's nasty. Oh, it's very nasty. Is that a hunting knife? That would make an awesome spear. Oh, I'd love to make a weapon. Oh, shit, we hit 505. I completely missed that. My bad. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's the next unlock. What are we gonna get? Oh man, I think I think like a backpack is definitely necessary. Or leather jackets. Leather jackets would be pretty sweet. Because we can pimp those out. We can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of new tech with them. What the hell was going on up there? Bro's crawling out of the damn floor. This is a... oh, 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 there we go. This is ridiculous. This weapon is not very good. It was better in theory, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to go and look through some of these things. I'm going to go check out that fire station for axes, actually. That's what I want to do now. Because I want to do some carpentry. And then I need to find a bookstore. I'm going to get late soon. I'm going to get tired soon. But we can definitely do some more tonight. We're not done here just yet. I hear moaning. Oh, they're on the other side of this wall. That actually makes a lot of sense, right? They would be. They'd be, like, sort of loitering back there. Ooh, spooky. Oh, there's the fire station, right? Yeah, there's the fire station. Okay, lovely. Let's go pick all that up. How many shells do I still I've got 120 shells. Yeah, we got plenty. Let's take a little look-see in here and see what we can figure out. There we go. No alarm. Thank you. A ham radio. I will take that. I do not know what for. I will take that. That seems like something we might want to keep. Oh, and a pot plant. Heck yeah. And a sofa. Ooh, do I want a sofa? I might want a sofa. Take a couple things for the house. Bring something nice back for the missus. Oh, and you know what would be lovely for the front porch? Is a little bit of a doormat. It is, we're just trekking mud and blooded every time we come home. Absolute disgrace. There's a zombie back there. Okay. I got a pipe wrench, I got a rope. The military boots, I will take. A firefighter helmet, I will take. Long socks, honestly, they're coming with me. March Ridge, don't know about that. I'll take a light bulb. I'll take Mechanics Volume 1. Hell yeah, I will. I would love this little toolbox. I think it's so quaint. Uh, have I read Louisville 8 out of 9? Now that looks new. That looks like a new piece of our Louisville puzzle. It was. Ooh, we've got this piece now. Ooh, and I see more commercial. There's going to be a bookstore there. I feel it. I know there's a bookstore in the Mall of America up there or whatever. That's that's quite a big uh, that's quite a big fight. Thank you. I am trying to work here. Okay, screwdriver. We take axe. Axe. 
axe. Now that's a good weapon. Uh, the saw. I want to see. I'm gonna take these wrenches, saws, ropes, just all these tools because they're pretty handy. Like we don't have to use everything. Axe. But I would love to. Oh, somebody's coming. And left. What the? Where the hell did that zombie go? Oh, that he's always over there. Damn Houdini. Excuse me, monsieur. This is not acceptable behavior. Okay, you know what we're gonna do here? Uh, you can have this crappy 2x4. It's about to break. Give me the axe. Oh, I am the axe man. Duffel bag! Ooh. Okay, hold on. I can hold this in my offhand for the moment, right? That's not that's not wearing it. That's not wearing it. Doomsday survival guide. I am not sure. Okay, I'm going to put that in your hands, comment section. Do we wear the duffel bag or do we wait for something better? What do you guys think? Oh, man. I know I put a lot on you today, but I, I, I can't make that decision on my own. I'm stale baloney. Don't mind if I don't. Oh, let's go. Fresh uncooked vegetables. Packaged corn. Ah. Oh. I just went down the fireman's pole. Never mind. I'm having a great time. This is not the fire station I normally set up in. It's a little bit exposed, but it isn't bad. Like, I could see how you could make this work. Like, you do have this little roof area automatically accessible. And, like, look, running around on the roofs in Project Zomboid is a dicey prospect. Like, they do not work properly. Uh, you are just as likely to die as anything else. Okay, pretty nifty, though. Pretty nifty, though. It is 1.50 a.m. My sleep schedule remains completely scurfed. Uh, I guess we drop this off and then, uh, I mean, I'm kind of keen. I think I might just spend the entire next day awake rather than going to sleep. That would do a lot uh, to fix our schedule. We kind of just need a, like, we need to go to bed at like 8 o'clock. Uh, super tired so that we actually sleep through the goddamn night. I, I can say, I think it's fairly safe to say though that we have successfully looted several buildings here. Okay, gun store, you're done. Uh, the grocery store next to the gun store is done, which was in that same building. We've done the fire station. Let's go see if there is a book shop along this little strip mall here. I didn't actually pay attention for that. Uh, not actively. I'm sure I saw it and then was like, oh wow, a bookstore. We should go back there and then never went back there. There is a lawyer. Cupcake and Dino, Dino Legal Services. Uh, you know what? You know what? We should stay stealthy on this. We're not tired yet. Insurance, family fashion, mm, tattoos. We'll check the tool shop, see what's in there. If I can get a welding mask, we are off to the damn races, man. How's Max holding up? Eh, it's chipping a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, like this is definitely all worth coming back for. Some safety goggles, metal scrap, mm, a shovel. We can cut that into a pretty powerful spear. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, with zombie respawn turned off, like we, we're not, we, I wouldn't say we've secured this area, but it's definitely a lot better than it would be otherwise. Yeah, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing all that much. A wood axe is a huge find. Oh my God. Uh, it's exactly like my, it's the highest damage weapon in the game other than the katana, I think, uh, which is more of a gimmick than anything else. Compost bag, that's actually pretty handy. We're taking that. And we should probably put some seeds in the ground, huh? Get the shovel. Give me that shovel. We can use that to dig our ah, trowel. That's what I want, really. Okay, some seeds and cabbage. A watering can would be pretty handy. Or, you know, uh, sprinkling sand on the plants. I know I'm a little bit over encumbered. He says, terrifyingly over encumbered. But I just want to see what's under here. Okay, listen, I, I, I'm very uncomfortable going under there. There's zombies in the bushes, there's zombies under the deck. Yeah, the, the camera gets a bit scuffed. Don't mind me, just gonna wail on this poor person. There's a guy just like chilling over there, but the camera won't cut away this damn board. We'll get you out of there, buddy, don't worry. A fellow hairline enjoyer. Hell yeah. Come on, give me a hug. No, sorry, I didn't mean to push you away, I, I just... I have trouble with distance, you know, personal space and all that. 
Oh no, I hugged him too much. This is a liquor store. That is an empty shop and that is a barber shop. Okay, cool. Glad that that was definitely worth the effort, 100%. Hey buddy. How you doing? You good over there? Taking a little nap? Yeah, yeah you are. All right, let's take this stuff home. Bookstores over there? Nope, that's a real estate office. Ah. Uh. Where am I going to find a bookstore? Yeah, it's going to be our little farming spot over here. So this can be our farming tool shed. How about that? I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah, I love that idea. Got a nice pot plant there in the corner. Would be lovely. Ready to bring the room together. Oh yeah, that's stunning. Oh, that's so much nicer. And then we'll have one over here, too, I think. Ah, uh, you know what? A little feng shui. Put it in front of the door. Okay, one thing I do want to do real quick is set up our ham radio that we brought in here. Now, we do happen to know that the... Uh, the where is it? Tune in to add preset. There we go. Uh, we do happen to know that the emergency broadcast station is 90 megahertz. So we're going to be putting that up. 90 megahertz. Hey, we're going to say that's... Emer oh, that's capitalized. Emergency. Perfect. Uh, that's not capitalized. How about that? There we go. That's our emergency broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and tune into that. And there we go. That is indeed the automated emergency broadcast. It'll be different every time you roll a save. Uh, it's, it's like world dependent. There we turn that down. Battery's on 100%. I'm going to turn that off, but we are going to be... Uh, we might occasionally be checking that for updates. It's unlikely there's much else that's going to come through, but you never know, right? Always pays to be prepared. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. I think that's everything for today. I got some moodlets I got to take care of. Uh, my boy here is going to spend the day reading books, I think, and then we will come back in the next episode with a new plan. So, once again, just going over the critical stuff I need your input on. Should we wear the duffel bag or hold off, save our credit for something else? Should we use it on a leather jacket? Should we uh, go ahead and accept that duffel bags are pretty common? We'll be able to find more of them. If we lose one, we can get other ones. Uh, or should we hold out for a larger backpack? Uh, what do you guys want to see in the series going forward? What else are you keen for? What have we not been doing? What have we been doing right? What have we been doing wrong? Let us know. All the things down below is the pacing all right. You know the drill. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you all, every single one of you, in the next one. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top eh, 3% of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. And here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here?